Greetings, I'm Jaquita Zachary Johnson, the author of Gary the Greater Gator, and I enjoy promoting other authors as well as encouraging others to become authors themselves. I have an amazing guest with me today, and she'll tell you a little bit more about herself and about her book. Thank you so much for joining us today. If you would not mind just sharing with our viewers a little bit about yourself and your book. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. Um, my name is Jillian Bradfield. I am the author of Right On Girl. This is the journal that I published for preteen and teen girls to encourage them to write, to express themselves. Um, it's under the line of books, Jilly Bean Books, uh, which is also the name of my website, jillybeanbooks.com. Um, a little bit about me, I'm a native of Atlanta, Georgia. I'm a product of Atlanta Public School System. I graduated from Frederick Douglass High School. Um, I attended Savannah State University where I obtained a bachelor's in sociology. Okay. Um, and Shorter University where I obtained a master's in organizational leadership. Awesome, awesome. So we know that the book is for young ladies. Yes. Young um, girls, um, preteen. Preteen and teen. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so tell me what encouraged you to write this journal? So what encouraged me to publish Write On Girl was I was bullied as a child. Um, as early as elementary school, I was picked on, bullied. Um, I was overweight. Um, and so I just kind of internalized all of the name calling and the children talking about me. And it turned into self-harming behavior, to, to put it nicely. Um, but in all of that, I turned to journaling. When I didn't have anyone to talk to, when I didn't want to talk to my parents or anything like that, I turned to journaling. And it was therapeutic, it was an outlet. And so essentially, Right On Girl consists of all the topics and situations that I dealt with as a child. I just put it into a journal. Um, whether it was about boys, if it was about uh, my weight or not, loving myself or having image issues, I took those issues and situations and I made them writing prompts and I put them in the journal because I know girls today are dealing with the exact same thing. And so instead of giving them a journal with sheets of paper with flowers on them, which is fine, some girls need a push. Some girls need the topic given to them so they know where to start. And so essentially that is what Write On Girl is, and that's why I created it. Awesome. And so what is your hope and your goal behind the journal? My hope for this journal is that girls feel like they have an outlet. I don't want them to feel like they have to keep their feelings bottled up inside. Um, I don't want them to feel like you know, no one else is going through this. I'm the only one dealing with this. I'm trying to get girls to understand you're not alone. You're not the only one that has a bad day. You're not the only one that gets bullied or picked on. And there are fun topics in here too. Um, you know, topics that deal with communication, you know, positive communication between girls. And so that's a hope that I have, to just improve the communication between young girls, improve their self-esteem, and just give them an outlet for the self-expression. Awesome. I absolutely love the journal. If you don't Thank mind, you. if you don't mind me sharing one of the prompts with our listeners, um, let's see. August. I don't want to give it all away. I want you guys to buy it, but I just wanted to share it. So August topic: Love your skin, love its flaws, embrace your body and all its uniqueness. And one of the topics is, you are beautiful. What is beautiful to you? Do you think you're beautiful? And the young ladies are to kind of write about that. And I just love just the self-expression. I love the beautiful um, pictures and photographs that you have. So not only are there topics in the book, but it's also um, opportunities for them to draw and color, which is also an amazing outlet as it well. Is. And so we just want to say thank you so much for being obedient and writing this um, writing this book. And so can you just kind of tell me, because I know you published 
it as well. Yes. So if you can just kind of um, let us know, how does that go? Many of our listeners often ask, how do I get started in writing? How do I get started in publishing? What do I need to do? So if you can give them any advice, um, number one, just if they want to write, how can they get started? Well, um, the first piece of piece of advice I can give is get out of your own way. Mm-hmm. Don't doubt yourself. I did doubt myself for a very long time, um, and just put the pen to the paper and start writing. And that is essentially what I did. Now, as okay. far as publishing, um, I just so happened to meet the right person at okay. the right time. Uh, Crystal Swain Bates published helped me publish this book. Mm-hmm. Uh, she has a publishing company. Um, and the services are under the title Publish with Crystal. Okay. Um, and she's the author of about 12 children's books, mm-hmm. all dealing with children with natural hair. And um, she's a great person to work with. Um, and that is how I published my book. I went through her and okay. her publishing company. That sounds amazing. So maybe we can get some information about her as well. Mm-hmm. And um, I just want to say thank you. Thank you again for just spending time out of your day to tell us about Right On Girl with some amazing, if you're a young lady, um, the parent of a young lady, or maybe you're a young lady, and you're interested in writing or journaling because it's so therapeutic, um, look her up. How can we get the book, and how can we learn more about you on your social media? This book is available on Amazon. Uh, just search Right On Girl with an exclamation point. It's right, like you write with a pen. Um, right On Girl. Um, it can be searched. It's also available at Cheris Books and More and Little Five Points. Okay. It's a small, cute bookstore um, run by amazing women in Little Five Points. It's available there. And I can also be reached on social media. All of my social media is at Jilly Bean Books. And it's J I L L E Y B A N B O O K S. Um, Jilly Bean Books. My email is jillybeanbooks at gmail.com. Thank you so much again. Thank you. Right on.